Hey there everyone, it's Laura from Unwind Pilates Studio here. I'm filming this on the eve of the announcements from the government relating to lockdown that's going to happen in Australia probably tomorrow, um, the 23rd or maybe even the 24th of March. Uh, I recorded a challenge, a three week challenge back at Christmas time um, and I'm actually just going to release that to all of you now. I've created or I've put all of the videos from that challenge into different playlists. The premise of the challenge was just to get everybody moving for 10 to 15 minutes every day um, because I'm a mum with two small children and sometimes trying to fit in an hour is just not something that's possible but 10 minutes I usually can fit in. Um, so with that in mind, each day I had a slightly different focus. Focus, um, body parts so it was abdominals or arms or legs or back um, there was also a stretch day and then every Saturday or on the sixth day there was a total body workout that went for 20 to 25 minutes um, but as I said I've created all the different playlists so if you click through here you should be able to go over to my YouTube channel and you'll have access to all of those and hopefully that will help you to just keep moving um, I know motivation at home can sometimes be really, really hard, um, but they're there, they're for you. Hopefully they make sense. If you like them, just let me know and please just share it with any of your friends and family if you think they might benefit from it as well. Um, just on that note, if you're pregnant, um, there aren't, some of the exercises can be done if you're in the earlier stage of your pregnancy. If you're in the later stages of your pregnancy, let me know. Send me an email through my contact us and I'll share some pages that will have better um, prenatal workouts for you because there are plenty of them out there. Um, if you've recently had a baby, most of the exercises are okay. Um, the only thing I would get you to consider is um, how you're feeling through abdominals um, and what's happening when you're doing those exercises. So if you're finding some doming is occurring, then just level back um, and you don't have to go to that point. So just do the level where you don't have any doming. It's always better to do five really good ones with no doming where your abdominals are engaged and drawing towards one another than doing 20 where everything's just opening and you're just increasing or, or maintaining that abdominal separation. So, um, but if you can maintain the abdominal connection while you're doing any chest lifting or leg lifting, um, then you can just go right ahead and do that. Uh, if you have any other questions, please just send me an email. I'm at home with my two kids, so I understand what that is like as well. Um, but hopefully they help. Let me know if they do. See ya.